All right, guys. Um, I got the heads and the cam out the last video. I just want to show you what I'm doing now. Basically, I'm just cleaning the surface here, and I clean this one piston here. This is uh, number six on the passenger side. Basically, all I did was took a shop rag with some uh, brake cleaner. And I rolled up the shop rag into like a little ball and I sprayed the rag with uh, the brake cleaner. And then I just basically wiped off all the uh, carbon buildup. And it, it came off. Um, most of it came off right away, very easy. But some of it where like over here, you see it's kicked up. Like an area like that on this piston, it was a little hard to get out. Took a little rubbing, I'm going to say like 20 minutes just for that one piston. So now I'm cleaning the uh, block surface area, and all I'm doing, I'm just using my fingernail, and it just comes right off. You see that? I took that whole, I took all that off with my fingernail. So I'm really happy. I don't have to use any scrapers or any tools. So I'm going to clean all this. I did around this piston with my fingernails, and then I'll wipe it real quick with brake clean. And that'll be that for now. So I'm preparing the engine for assembly, and again, I'm just cleaning it. But that's how it came out. Just with some brake clean being sprayed on a shop rag and wiping it, a little elbow grease. And then all this stuff, this black stuff, just comes right off with my fingernail. See that? All right, guys. Well, this is going to be slow and tedious, so I'm not going to film this, but I'll be back. All right, guys, quick tip for you. See these water jackets here? Oh, when you take the heads off, they're still going to be full of antifreeze. <clears throat> and basically, the antifreeze is pretty much up to the top. You don't want any of that antifreeze leaking or getting in your way as you're trying to clean the surface area or, more importantly, when you're putting the head gasket back on. So, a lot of people make fun of me, but once again, I use this trusty little tool here. Right there, brake bleeder vacuum kit. And I just insert the hose here. Pumped it a few times. It filled the canister three times on each side of the block. And then I poured it into there and I got it all out. Well, there's going to be still some in there, but none that's going to affect my work or get in the way of putting the heads on properly or the head gasket so uh, get yourself one of these it works really well you can use it for a bunch of applications and I've showed you three already on this one project all right guys let me get back to work I just have to clean these pistons and also be careful because on the inside right at the top up here see that that's a lot of carbon and that's a pretty hard buildup so you want to clean that too as well. Not just the uh, block area here and the piston tops. Clean that crap off as well. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, just want to show you what I'm doing. <clears throat> I got all the pistons clean. Can't see them now, obviously. I got the uh, block surface cleaned really well. And then I... Well, what I'm doing now is I... Uh, I'm cleaning out the threads for the head bolts. I did the small ones already. And uh, I completed all of the uh, big head bolts actually already. And the reason why I have it covered like this is that's so that uh, no debris falls into the uh, pistons. And then, you know, I'm blowing out the holes. And when I blow out the holes, you get a lot of debris that goes flying everywhere. So it's best to just take your time and just tape it up like this. You can do whatever method you want, but this is just how I did it. So I'm just showing you how I did it. And what I did, uh, I made a uh, chaser thread cleaner out of an old head bolt. I just cut two grooves in it. And then what I do is I fill the grooves with grease, and then I thread them down by hand until it bottoms out. I was able to get the head bolt to bottom out in all the uh, 
in all of the holes. I got it to bottom out just by uh, lightly turning it out by hand and then you know undoing it and they would collect uh, it would collect some debris in the grooves that I cut. I just took an angle grinder I put the head in the vise, I took an angle grinder and I just cut the uh, two grooves, some people cut three but you know it's a relatively new motor and it's never been apart so I didn't have too much debris but I did get a, a good amount because GM puts they put a little bit of a Loctite on here and that was what I was mostly getting out when I would clean out the uh, threads it's important you do this each time whether you're using uh, ARP head studs, head bolts, or factory head bolts. Because if you have debris in the threads, it will actually uh, throw off your uh, torque numbers when you go to torque them down. So I'm just showing you what I did. I'm making some progress. Alright guys, I'll be back. Alright guys, uh... They are the pistons. Uh, I got all that crud off. That's as good as I can get them. I got the deck surface clean, the block surface clean. Um, after I spoke with you guys, I was finishing up, and before I took the tape off, I blew out all the holes with my uh, air gun. Put that. Just put that in there. And, you know, I kept looking in each hole, and they all look clean to me, but then when I put the air gun in there, a lot of uh, antifreeze would come out. So, you got to keep in mind, when you take the heads off, antifreeze will run and pour down into those uh, bolt holes. And you don't want to leave any liquid or fluid in there, because when you put the bolt in, and you tighten it up, the liquid will have nowhere to go, and it will actually crack the block. So, uh, I can't stress how important it is to clean out those holes. And if you don't want to use a thread chaser to at least take your uh, air holes and blow out any uh, fluids that are in there. But uh, both sides pretty much look like that now. And then we'll uh, start uh, with the cam and the uh, timing chain. Alright guys, I'll be back. 